Rumyx back with another video. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it would be greatly appreciated. And with that being said, this is What If Naruto Was Madara's Son, part 10 to my knowledge. If it's not part 10, then it's part 11. With that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. And we can now get into the recap. So, in the last part, we basically ended off with a few interesting things happening. So, the first interesting, I guess you want to say, thing that happened was Sakura finally came out of her rejuvenating to test tube, test area, whatever you um, guys and girls want to call it. Um, I just call it rejuvenating chamber sometimes, sometimes test tube. But the thing that she was in where she was able to become a new Chia, basically, or Naruto, how Naruto turned her into a new Chia, I should say. Now, with that being said, Sakura is almost completely loyal to Naruto because... And I just want to kind of explain it to you guys. Because you guys might be like, why would Sakura be loyal to Naruto? This, that, and that. With that being said, it's kind of simple. Sakura, we've actually seen at times Sakura kind of, how would I explain it? Get sad. I don't want to say break down. But yeah, she kind of broke down. When she wasn't strong enough to compete with her teammates. When she wasn't, that was the whole reason why she learned medical ninjutsu. So she could be a actual help to, to Naruto specifically because Sasuke wasn't even around. With that being said, Naruto has given her that power. So it's kind of like how she is with Tsunade. She is with Naruto. But it's just a little different because she didn't have to train for the power. And it's not like the power isn't deserved, but yeah. With that being said, Sakura did just train with Naruto as well. And that's about as much of the recap as I want to make it. As it was a decently long recap, about a minute long to my knowledge. With that being said, we can now fully begin the story. We now have a flashback to right before Sakura was turned into... Well, an ex Harano, I should say. So what I mean by that is like she's no longer a Harano, she's now an Uchiha, but I guess she's still a Harano at heart. With that being said, Naruto would then ask Sakura a question. This is the flashback, this is not current day for a reference point, of course. Sakura would wonder what the question was. This is right after if we wanna build the timelines up. It's right before, I should say, actually not after, but it's right after the Land of Waves, but right before the Uchiha Massacre. So, it's kind of like that little grace period right after they defeat the Big Bad, if that makes sense. With that being said, Naruto would ask Sakura a question, but before he could ask her a question, Sakura would ask Naruto a question, where he was during the mission. Naruto would say that he was out meditating. As Sakura would say that they could have really used his help. With that being said, Naruto would continue. Now, Sakura, how did you feel during that battle? Sakura would look to the sky. I... what do you mean, Naruto? Well, I saw you all, and I didn't know what to do. I couldn't step in to save you because I was too weak. Naruto was just playing the quote-unquote weak card... Where he's too scared to save them, even though he has enough strength to do it, he actually kind of did. Now, with that being said, he would continue. I watched you. You look so helpless. Helpless to save Sasuke. To save Kakashi. Sakura didn't hear anything Naruto said besides so helpless and too helpless to save Sasuke. She didn't really care about saving Kakashi. Kakashi can save himself. And she didn't really see Kakashi in too much turmoil. But she saw Sasuke half dead. And she couldn't do a single thing. She couldn't fix his injuries. She couldn't stop his injuries. She couldn't even help Sasuke out. She couldn't get revenge against the person who put Sasuke in that condition. So Naruto would continue. So, look me in my eyes. Do you want power or not? Naruto is not using a Genjutsu here. It's completely charisma, um, normal stuff, right? Sakura would nod her head, saying yes. I want power. So, with that being said, Naruto would give her that power, and it just so happened that that power was in the form of Uchiha. Now, we can now get back to present day. So I explained how Sakura would now be going after Sasuke, and we can now fully get into that plot, timeline, 
subject, whatever you want to call it. Two paper bombs would be sent flying towards Sasuke, who was roaming around the Leaf Village. He didn't really know how to get out. He hadn't been to the Leaf Village in, well, four years at this point. And he was kind of just taking in the scenery, looking at things and watching things, stuff like that, right? So, with that being said, he would eventually run into Sakura. So what basically happened was these two paper bombs that Sakura sent flying towards Sasuke would both hit um, a building, which would then cause the building to fall, blocking Sasuke in an area with Sakura where they could have their battle, and nobody would see them. Sakura would then stare down Sasuke. In the last part, I explained what Sakura looked like. She now has like a coat, a black coat that she wears, and she also has a zombie mask. With that being said, she also does have, under that cloak, Ambu Itachi attire, like, a similar attire like that. And I, uh, kind of showed what it looked like at the end of the video. With that being said, I shall continue. Sasuke would look at the person in front of him, as he would immediately look at the hair. Pink, Sasuke thought to himself. Now, I'm not gonna bully Sasuke here like I bullied him against Naruto, because it kinda just doesn't make sense. Um, he is very powerful still in this timeline, and I feel like I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea, like he's weak. But nor is Sakura Uchiha. Sakura would put two hand signs together as she would launch the Uchiha Fireball Jutsu. These, or I should say this, actually, because we're not there yet, but this Jutsu just came to her naturally. These Jutsus seem to come to her naturally, and I'll explain that after the fight. But the plain definition or example here of why, or just answer if, to your question if you're wondering how does Sakura know this Jutsu, well, it's actually quite simple. Naruto, in a way, trained her with other things. That's all I'll say right now, um, because there was a training period where she learned the hydrification technique and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. With that being said, we can now continue. Sakura would slowly advance towards Sasuke, as Sasuke wouldn't know what to do, standing there quietly. Sakura would then speak, as she would say, what follows. You're Sasuke, aren't you? Sasuke would grit his teeth. Who the hell are you? He would say, as he wondered. Who the hell is this? But the pink hair just hit our nerve. Who else has pink hair that he knows? It couldn't be Sakura. Sakura, the last time he saw her, was nowhere near this amount of strength. And of all things, she wouldn't be a part of the Yombu. It couldn't be Naruto. Had even been stronger than Sakura. So it would make no sense if Sakura was now what he would perceive to be close to Naruto. Sakura would then follow it up with another question. Sasuke, I know it's you, so I'll ask you another question now. You know it's me. Do I know you? Of course you do. You don't remember me? It hasn't been that long, has it? Sakura would say. Of course, time's a little different for Sakura. Um, put simply, she hasn't really experienced time, because she's kind of been... Let's just say in a coma of sorts, a comatose like state for four years. So, yeah. Why she was in there that long, you may also be wondering. Well, it's actually quite simple. Um, the Uchiha DNA needed to properly mix with the Haruno DNA and needed to actually, I guess you could say, overwrite that DNA. So it did take a lot of time, even with um, Naruto's advanced technology. Just so you know, the technology is much better than our, or our R, whatever you want to call it, the current technology. With that being said, Sakura would continue. So, Sasuke, do you want to know who I am? Sakura would say. Sasuke would nod. I would like to know who you are, but it is not a requirement. If you continue to come towards me, I won't hesitate to kill you. With that being said, Sakura would smirk under her mask. Well, I'll show you who it is. The movement of clothes would be heard as Sakura would then, or then, take off her cloak and 
she would also unmask herself to Sasuke. Sasuke would see Sakura unmasked as she thought to herself, what does he think? Sasuke would be conflicted. Sakura, he would yell out. As Sakura would smile. What do you think, Sasuke? Sakura would say. As Sasuke didn't know what to say. But he thought about his goals. Sakura was not in his goals. As far as he knew. But he also thought about his clan. Since he's the one who will be killing Itachi. There has to be somebody who he can help rebuild the Uchiha clan with. What if it was Sakura? What if the person he needed was Sakura? But he thought about it. He already asked Kari. If the worst case scenario is Kari, that'd be just fine. She's not, say, ugly. If you know what I mean, he's basically just thinking about his future with somebody. Or thinking about his future with another person so that he can rebuild his clan. That's his goal. He's stated it many times in Shippuden. Um, and even in this what if, I believe. So now it's kind of conflicting. And now he's just thinking about it. But he also wants strength. He wants a child who's strong. He wants a clan. A new clan, of course. So not just a clan, but a new clan. That has powerful shinobi. That can rival other clans like the Hyuga, the Abarame. You know the deal. So, he thought about it. What clan has only one person? Two persons. Two, or two people, sorry. Three people, four people. That thought crossed his mind, but then he continued to think. Sakura would then ask, what are you thinking about, Sasuke? Or Sasuke would say, oh, nothing. Unleashing his sword, or unsheathing it, I should say. Sakura would then get a flashback slash memory, whatever you want to call it, um, mid-battle. As she would remember that Naruto told her that Sasuke is easily Kage level. So, Sakura would unleash her strength. Her wits, if you want to call it that. And they would have a amazing battle. Sakura would appear behind Sasuke, kicking him forward, as Sasuke would appear behind Sakura, grabbing her by her ombu vest and throwing him or her up into the air, as he would quickly mend the hand signs for the Uchiha-style fireball jutsu. With that being said, it's also known as the Uchiha-style great fireball jutsu. Cough, cough, cough. <coughs> with that being said, sorry for that little, I, it might have made a little echo, I'm not really actually too sure, but with that being said, Sakura would then jump from building to building it's not too many buildings so it's just building to building she's just jumping side to side mid-air as you then unleash or unsheave i should say her own sword bringing it down onto sasuke uchiha sasuke will quickly move out of the way elbowing sakura sakura will quickly be fine basically as her durability is actually pretty high um higher than it is in canon she easily gets bruised in canon and she doesn't easily get bruised in well, this timeline with that being said, we do see this even in Shaputin, where she falls to the ground and, well, she has bruises on her knees and stuff from just being on the ground um, when Naruto is fighting pain. With that being said, a few other things would happen in this fight as I shall continue. Sakura would then put together a few more hand signs as she would yell out, Fire style, or Fire style, I should have said that properly the first time. It might have not came out right, but it came out right for me. Sorry about that. With that being said, she would yell out, Firestyle, Phoenix, Flower, Jutsu. Sasuke would then wonder, all these Jutsu, it almost seems as if she's copying me. At least, the Jutsu that he knows. Sakura would quickly put it together, hand signs. And she would then yell out, Earthstyle, Earth Wall. She would then prepare a few more hand signs. She was ready to surprise Sasuke. She had been working on something with Naruto, who gave her all the tools that she needed. Naruto gave her the Skull of Sealing. Naruto gave her many jutsu. Naruto gave her tools like kunai, shuriken, paper bombs. Naruto gave her a piece of her identity, you could say. Naruto gave her money, having her as his Hokage guard and greatest subordinate of all. Naruto even gave her, well, 
one of her dreams to make her family proud. Telling them that Sakura was on an extended mission that lasted four years. And that from that mission, they can, well, spend as much as they want within the village. And anywhere for that matter, as they'll have eternal wealth from that mission alone. Because, well, Sakura's parents actually thought that, well, Sakura was dead. As that's what was, well, echoed throughout the village. With that being said, Naruto had also given Sakura one other thing. Or two, I should say. Both the Uchiha blood and the Uchiha's greatest gift. The gift known as the Sharingan. Sakura would then punch Sasuke. This is her inherent strength. Her inherent strength in this timeline is actually equal to what she was or what her inherent strength was similar to in the canon. So, pretty strong, right? This would cause Sasuke to be sent flying into the wall of a few rocks behind him. This would actually hurt Sasuke's back a little and would also cause the Uchiha mark on his back to be ripped open. What I mean by that is, you know how he wears that Uchiha-style attire? Basically, that Uchiha crest is no longer there because it's been ripped off in a way. Um, and the rock has kind of done that by pushing into Sasuke's back and breaking it. With that being said, Sasuke would stand. He would then put together a few hand signs. As Sakura would then, or actually has already been doing the same. She would then yell out at the same time as Sasuke. Chi Dori. Now, Sakura's hands are just a little slow, you know, a little bit slower than Sasuke's. So that's why it took a little um, bit more time for Sakura to unleash her Chidori. Um, as in theory, in theory that is, Sakura should be unleashing her Chidori a lot sooner, but that is actually not the case. With that being said, Naruto had, at this point been walking around the village greeting people, if you were curious about what Naruto was doing. But now, back to Sakura versus Sasuke. Sasuke would then be in awe. That technique. It looks like the Chidori. No, it is. Is it not? Sakura would then say, This Chidori is a little different than yours. I call it the Pink Chidori. Or, in other words, the Hana Dori. Why the Hana Dori? It's actually quite simple, Sasuke. Well, Blossom and Dori equals the Hana Dori. I see. How interesting. Even so, I have a question. How could you even learn a, a jutsu on the level of the Chidori? Unless you took away one of the Chidori's greatest strengths, which is its speed, you would be subject to tunnel vision. Or are you that blatantly stupid that you would be okay with that tunnel vision just to harm your opponent, but also harm yourself in the process? That actually kind of sounds like the soccer I know. <laughs> Sasuke, I didn't know I'd had to repeat this. I had to repeat what? Well, I said it before, on my way here. But I'm gonna have to say it while in battle as well. You know. I'm not that soccer anymore. The weak soccer that you knew is no longer. Girl, I'm strong. As strong as you, even. Sorry about that, I keep having the... Sorry if you heard that, but I keep having the cut. I keep having to cut the video... Because where I am right now in my room, there's so many cars just driving by. Randomly, somebody started doing a lawnmower. Like, this is just the regular stuff. It's just um, what's behind. Um, and sometimes it causes the video to be a little longer than I need it to be. A little shorter sometimes. Um, yeah. But with that being said, we can now get back to the fight. I just wanted to explain the rapid amount of, like, cuts, booms, uh, this sound. Um, cause I take my, uh, phone and recording device out of the area that it is in. Um, but yeah. With that being said, I can now continue. Sakura would then 
think to herself, why am I doing what I'm doing now? As she remembered everything, her undying loyalty to Naruto, she'll never, never disobey Naruto's orders. So, Sakura would stand valiantly in front of Sasuke. As Sasuke would look at Sakura, baffled by what he just heard. You're not the same Sakura. I'll give you that. You are definitely right, he would say. As Sakura would come charging, or charging, I kind of said charging, I think, but charging towards Sasuke. Sasuke would dodge as Sakura would put Sasuke on his knees, slamming him into a nearby building with her left arm and grabbing him before he could go too far, as he would then be hit with the Hana Dory. Sasuke, do you know how long I've waited to show you my power? How long you've waited? Yeah. You've been waiting to show me how strong you are? Yeah, of course. It's almost as if always I'm being... I, let's just say I've been behind too long. Far too long indeed. Also, might I add, there are a few things that I hate, but one thing I hate the most is, and Sakura would grit her teeth as she said this, being belittled by somebody who I know I'm stronger than. This was the Uchiha and Sakura talking about, or talking, I should say. But talking about, like, going about and talking. Um, if that made it make a little bit of sense. Uh, yeah. With that being said, Sakura did hate this, even if it was just Haruchiya talking. Sakura would then hear Sasuke say something. Sasuke would say quietly, That's great and all, but I'm far stronger than you'll ever be. What did you just say? Sakura would then plunge into Sasuke, because at this point, she was just at the surface of his skin. It hurt, but it didn't hurt enough. It didn't hurt enough to the point where Sasuke was confident enough to say this in front of Sakura, in fact. With that being said, Sakura was angered. And coincidentally, Sasuke and Sakura would both activate their two Tomoe Sharingan at the same time. Is that how much of a threat you think I am? I'm a low threat, so you only leave you, you. Your words. They're thumbling. Wait, am I seeing right? Three Tomoe, Sasuke would say, as his three Tomoe would activate. He would then squint his eyes. What the hell? <laughs> Sakura would giggle. You see, Sasuke, I have the Sharingan. That's why I was confident enough to use a technique similar to the Chidori. I'm not stupid. Do you understand that, Sasuke? I... I... No, this isn't possible. It shouldn't be possible. In any... In any way, how are you able to do this? It's actually quite simple, Sasuke. Would you like me to tell you? Well, no. I don't care for a conversation. Clearly, those eyes aren't yours. Did you take them from a member of the Uchiha clan who I don't know about, or one that's dead? No, Sasuke. I've had these for a very long time, actually. And I was never, I was never somebody who took the eyes of Uchiha. So, what I mean by that is, I, I did not steal these eyes. Are you related to the Uchiha clan? I am an Uchiha, Sakura would say. But... But, 
Sakura would then put the rat hand sign together. As she would then say, Well, did the pink hair fool you? Sakura's hair would then revert to its natural, at this point, natural color. She can actually switch between pink and black, respectively. But at the ends of her hair was now black. Or a pinkish black, I should say. So it's kind of just like a darker pink. So her main hair color is black, but at the tips or ends, whatever you want to call it, is a pinkish color. Sasuke would then look at Sakura in awe. This confirms it. If she's in Uchiha, I might actually be able to rebuild the clan. Well, for now at least, I'll have to bring you back to Naruto. I'm not going back under his protection, that little runt. Protection? You guessed it. He's trying to protect you. Do you know who he's trying to protect you from? I don't care. Nor do I know. So, in actuality, it doesn't matter to me. All right, then. Will you... Well, do you have any more words, Sasuke? Yeah. First thing. Thanks for telling me so much about you. I learned so much valuable information. Things that really hit the air, if you will. And, second of all, I'll have you know this. I'm not going under the runt. No. That stupid idiot's protection. Ever again. Or even custody for that matter. Protection or not. Did you just insult Naruto? Yeah, I did. What are you gonna do about it? Mm. A noise would be heard below the ground as Sasuke's back would be even more in pain. A rock-like spear would be pierced into Sasuke's back, as Sakura would then slam him into the, or through the spear, I should say, with her Hanadori. This would cause Sasuke to feel even more pain. It didn't hit anywhere valuable. It kind of just hit through a few minor veins. It didn't really uh, affect anything. So, he would be alright. But, but even so, Sasuke was incapacitated. Sakura would then knock out Sasuke, putting him on her back. As she would then put back on her black coat. Making it look as if somebody was just on her back while the coat was on. So it kind of looked like she was carrying a backpack in a way. With that being said, she would then arrive in the underground city. Approaching Naruto. But before she could, she would have to go through Naruto's security. Was this a new feature? Sakura thought. As she would then have to put her eye in a scanner. Or in front of a scanner, I should say. She would then do so. As she would then be greeted by two Jonin. And two Ombu. The Ombu and Jonin then looked at Sakura. As they examined her. You were here earlier, weren't you? Yeah, you can come through. Sakura would then walk as she would enter the main area of the city, the capital. She would then see many other Uchiha as she smiled, looking about as she wondered. Now, which way was Naruto's? Where would Naruto be right now? Is he in his quarters or in his test room? Hmm. He might actually be in his playhouse. What do I mean by this? Naruto actually has a playhouse. I know it may just seem like he has all these properties, areas, whatever you want to call it. But he does have a playhouse. It's where he trains, um, where he works on things, that kind of things. Um, it's kind of somewhere where he's a little vulnerable. So that's why nobody really knows about it and only people like Sakura know about it. Um, because this is basically his equivalent to the Hokage office or Hokage town. And funny enough... There still is the Hokage Tower above the underground city or high-tech city, whatever you want to call it, the metropolis of sorts. Um, but there is a shadow clone of Naruto's doing work there and not the real Naruto. Um, so, yeah, take that how you will. With that being said, Naruto would then greet Sakura with a smile. Is that a backpack or is that Sasuke? 
Uchiha. But Sasuke Uchiha. Ah, uh, well, don't those words bring feeling to my body? Sakura, I'm amazed. I'm also very happy. You've met up to my expectations, but I also assume you were playing around. Look, that scratch on your face. It shouldn't have happened, but it's all right. Your loyalty is noted, and I thank you. I've also given your parents whatever they need. They have access to literally everything. All the wealth they could have wanted. Thank you, Naruto. Sakura would give Naruto a hug as Naruto would smile. Well, I'm all good for praise and all. Heck, I love praise, but we are subordinates. So, let's get down to the point. Sasuke, is he harmed? Yes, he is bleeding a little too much. Actually, I've been getting a lot of weird looks because of it. And a few janitors had to come out. He's bleeding that much? Well, I saw them behind me when I was near the capital. I see. Well, in any case, come now, Sakura. If we go in this room right here, he can get looked at. They actually have a doctor here. You do? I've never been this far, your playhouse. Don't call it that. This is my office. Yeah, whatever you say. Now, Sakura, since you're not hurt and all, it would be great if you could train. You know, how to get there. Two lefts and a right. Mm-hmm. Sakura would then go to Naruto's training room as she would train herself. She actually had her own training room already there because her training's just a little different from Naruto's. Naruto's a step above her, so it kind of just makes sense, right? With that being said, Sasuke would then wake up, knocking out the doctor and walking out the door. He would then approach Naruto, who was working at his desk. Naruto would then put his signature on a piece of paper as Sasuke would yell out, Chidori, stream, or spear, if that's how you swing. Naruto would then cough up blood on his paperwork as he would look in front of him. Sasuke, it's you. Naruto would smile, grabbing his wound. And with that being said, this has been Worf Naruto's Modern Sun Part 10. In Part 11, we will enter the war arc, so um, take note of that. Uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you all enjoy. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, and Rami X. Out. Oh.